6.57 in the morning and Haven has been up for an hour and a half. Finally got her back to sleep and now it becomes how much can we do in one hour while she sleeps for one more hour. It's the mad dash crazy hour right now to get as much stuff done as humanly possible. I just made coffee, currently making more coffee. Laundry's in, she's eating breakfast and just finished up her breakfast and I think we've decided officially to go to Costco today. So Costco on my Saturday since I'm off Monday and Tuesday. So we're gonna go to Costco and then we have to go and pick up a U-Haul because my dad and I are going to go get all of our stuff off an 18 wheeler across the country. And then my brothers and it's gonna be a mad dash to get everything inside of the house. Keep watching this, hit the thumbs up button right now. Drop a comment below if you have ever had some crazy ass shit happen in one hour. Looks good. You dropped all of it off your fork. <laughs> Alright, so check it out. Home basement gym right now. I have a ton of stuff in California that's making its way over later today. I have my whole rack and Olympic setup. Got a ton of stuff here. And what I've learned is if it takes 30 plus minutes to get to your gym, it makes no sense for you just to go commute out there if you're not commuting out there for any other reason. During the work week, I'm usually commuting out there for work so I can commute out. It makes sense to stop on the way to work or when I'm coming home from work. It makes no sense today just for me to drive out, drive back. That's one hour of time. Your workout could be one hour. So realistically, as new parents or parents in general or people who make the excuse that you don't have time to work out, don't waste your time driving. Don't waste your workout time driving. So I got a ton of stuff down here, obviously accumulating things over the years. This, look at this. This is going to be a dumbbell, but it will get the job done. It's gonna be a 10 pound dumbbell that I can do some shoulder stuff with. So keep watching this video right now. I'm gonna be hitting shoulders today. Look what I can do with very little. It's all about getting creative with what you have. Watch this, keep watching. <laughs> I just finished my coffee. And after I finished my coffee, I usually switch to a creatine by X Endurance, which is like a lemon lime. And it's Josh Bridges, um, who's a CrossFit athlete. It's his creatine through X Endurance. And I'm going to mix today X Endurance creatine, lemon lime, and Blackberry Garden of Life Energy and Focus. Sometimes when you mix things, it's a good thing. Sometimes when you mix things, it's a very bad thing. So we're gonna mix those up right now, drink some of that, and then keep going on the workout. Been kind of lagging. So I'm gonna get in the zone, get it done, and let's see how this tastes. Creatine. And the X Endurance Sports Bottle. Energy and focus. And cross your fingers and pray that this is good. Is not looking very good. Brownish yellow, but let's find out. Honestly, mixing the two together tastes way better. <laughs> Damn, that's actually really good. part about working out at home is you get to wear whatever stupid shirts you want and you get to flex in your gym mirrors because it's awesome when the gym mirror is picked out specifically from like a Marshalls or home goods because it's what makes you look like five pounds less and more shredded yeah yes this shirt I've had for so long it's a Mickey Mouse it's super bro look at this a little too uh, revealing for the gym Definitely not appropriate for the gym. Sounds good. It's a good shoulder session, especially for the uh, basement gym. Um, only did one, two, three, like five different movements, 
four sets of each. So definitely a good shoulder workout. I did some abs in there as well. Uh, I don't ever do a specific ab day. People always ask, do you do a specific ab day? I don't, no. It's all movements that I superset on. It's basically, I don't ever do a specific core day by any means. I just superset once or twice a week different ab exercises in there to make sure my blood and my heart rate stays up during the workout. But I'm gonna go shower here in a second and then get ready with the baby. I think we're gonna go to Costco. That's it, that's all we're doing today. Maybe we'll do something later. Oh yeah, we're moving. Oh. Here you go, baby. Hey. So I'm showered, clean, ready to go. Dressed, Haven is clean, diaper changed, feeding right now, and she has amazing cute clothes on for the day. And now mom's starting to get ready. And after that 16 hour process, we will then head to Costco. How's my form? Does my form look good? Comment down below with what you think about my form. Got the burp cloth on my one shoulder. Got the little blanket keeping her warm over here. And she is bottled down horizontal. Lips flanged on top of the bottle. And she looks like she's smiling. I think I did good. Give me the boogers. So she has boogers in her nose and we're trying to get them out. So we use this thing. Think of it like siphoning gas. Siphon gas sucks the booger out of the baby's nose rather than like intrusively like blowing because we can't make the baby blow her nose, obviously. So we have to suck it out. So then mom, what mom does is Chelsea will suck it out and then eat it. Baby girl and family is in the car and we're finally off. After changing and getting diapers clean and everything else, we are on our way. To Costco. Look who it is. What's up? She looks way more smiling. I'm talking about you. Oh. Hey guys. Hey. Costco. Got it. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. Costco. Let's do it. So you know you're back in Lancaster, Pennsylvania when you're walking up to Costco because there are some Amish buggies over here and Amish people shopping. Yeah. Don't make it too obvious. Tell she's uh you can tell she's new here. What do you think, mom? <laughs> Is that an Instagram worthy? Yes. How's it going, man? Um waiting for mom to get a cart. She's sleeping. There's mom. Wait up. They're glass. They're glass? Yeah. Prove it. Oh, the bottom is glass. Do we need it is the question. I mean, this would be perfect for my, like, stuff that I eat every day. You can't leave your daughter. Oh, yeah. My water pick shower massager. There's a Third Eye Blind song about that and some inappropriate stuff that we can't talk about on this channel, but we usually talk about inappropriate stuff, so go listen to it, check it out. And it's about a woman who found true love. True love, the truest love, the notebook kind of love in a water pick shower massager. Burrito with guacamole. Thank you. So it's a burrito with guacamole. Mm. 
Charmin water for her, avocados, pre-workout, some amino energy, Chobani, plain Greek yogurt, cauliflower rice, hummus, that. Not a bad setup. Let's see how much it is. That's always the question is how much is this going to be? Vins B-L-E-V-I-N-S. Total of 119. Not bad. I thought about 79 bucks, but it makes sense because some of the things are a little more expensive since it's like a three month supply of something rather than one month. Chelsea's feeding Haven out of the car. What are my favorite people doing? Oh, just trying to survive. You're okay. The bottle out here in the car. You're a ruffian. Everything good though? She okay? Little mama's okay. I.E. Haven. So these are the boots you're gonna buy? These are the boots I bought. Bought. Do you like them or no? Yeah, I think they're nice. They're black, right? Yeah, I like them a lot. 60 bucks. 60 bucks, that. not bad on Poshmark. Poshmark is a and website that you can sell stuff. It's kind of like eBay and Depop and all that. And Chelsea had a credit from selling some stuff, so she bought some boots. Many of you know my father, Marky Mark. We're now home. Wife and the baby are upstairs. I'm having to fly to get out of here and get to the U-Haul on time and then get to unpacking. We gotta do race car mode. This one's empty to start, and this one is packed like a hey, McGillicuddy. Good. How are you? So this is the truck that came the whole way across the country, drove across the country, and this is the one we're taking over to the house. We had one like this that we unloaded in. Got to get to it. Let's get some work done. I'll just pick it to your right hand side, or your left hand side. No. That is the Barbie box. All right. All the collectibles are in there. All right. That's Haven's College Fund. Well, you got it wrapped. <laughs> We're halfway. And, um, Chelsea, your makeup is safely secured in the front seat of the U-Haul. It's strapped in with the seatbelt. Now, that's part one of part two. And now, uh, we gotta unload it all into the house. Oh! Poor BMW. I'm sorry. I just get you, and then I stuff you full of things. As you can see, we've been pretty busy. Boxes galore have been brought in. I'm exhausted. Shout out to Kyle and Sean, my older brothers. Really appreciate your guys' help. And my dad, of course. We have lots to do yet. Just in case I never get to wrap this up, if this ends up being the end of this video, thanks for watching this video and our crazy busy day, especially with a little one. Um, my mom has been watching the baby for most of this move to make sure that we don't have to focus on where's our baby, where's our baby. So really appreciate everyone's help making this happen. Thanks for watching. Washing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's at Kerm Blevins. And until next time, thanks for watching.